my beginnings, man. So uh, I grew up in North Carolina, so it was kind of crazy, uh, kind of the origin story, if you will. Uh, my grandfather was the equivalent to like the Dr. Fauci, but in a better version for Venezuela. So, oh, really? Yeah, dude. So he wow. was coming up to Duke University in North Carolina. And this is back, I was born in 84. So, you know, back in the 80s when there's a lot of research being done for AIDS and a lot of other things like that, man. And yeah. Um, so, yeah, my, my grandfather came up here, brought my uh, my father and uh, bing, bada, boom, here I am. So uh, <laughs> that ended up happening. My mother's actually from West Virginia and then they moved down to Lexington, North Carolina. So if you see okay. ever uh, like Lexington furniture or anything like that, right? Yeah, yeah. From North Carolina. So, uh, okay. so I grew up in that area, man. And, um, yeah, I had a crazy childhood, like, uh, had parental abduction or parental kidnapping when I was, uh, seven. It's with oh Venezuela God. back in the nineties. I was there for about 18 months or so, I think roughly after 18 months. And so that was pretty crazy, man. Me and my little brother yeah. were visiting my grandparents during the nineties. And if, uh, if you remember anything from history on that piece in Venezuela, uh, that was when the civil war was going on. So they okay. had like, dude, I remember looking at, it's kind of funny, like stuff you forget about as a kid, right? But I was looking back on it and like, I remember seeing like uh, Molotov cocktails and riots and stuff being thrown on the streets, like armored personnel carriers, like driving through the streets, all this crazy stuff. I thought it was cool because like we're in a high rise apartment. I'm like, oh, G.I. Joe stuff. This is cool. This is awesome. <laughs> right, yeah. it was like in my early 20s, I was like, you know, that was actually like a civil war going on. Yeah. Down there. Like, that's, it's crazy, man. Well, you were in danger at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was pretty crazy, man. And we, um, yeah, so uh, so I lived in there for about uh, eighteen months. It was kind of funny. My uh, mom hired a group, an organization out of um, out of Bragg, and it was a bunch of retirees. And so they basically were going to come with uh, Coal One and Coal Two. Coal One was I was going to be. Um, they were going to go. Based, my mom was going to basically reach out to my father and say, "Hey, look, I've got a million dollar inheritance. I want our family back." Yada yada yada. Coal Two, they were going to actually like come down there and like pose as reporters and then kidnap me and my little brother back and bring us back because oh, Venezuela is a non-extradition state. So yeah, dude, pretty crazy, right? So that, was, that, yeah. that brings us up to third grade. Uh, <laughs> third grade from there on was pretty normal, man. I had, a, I had an incredible dad. Um, and, well, wait a uh, minute. So which COA, what, ha, what, what, you know, oh, did it, yeah, whatever, what have happened? How'd you get back? Hey, just stay tuned. That'll be on the next podcast. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> just beta no, man, yeah. Like, yeah. No, yeah. no. Co one worked. Co one worked. Okay, good, uh, good. Yeah, I remember getting escorted by a guy in a suit, and I'm thinking he was a Department of State guy that was like escorting us back. Because I remember going to the embassy and doing all this other kind of crazy wazoo stuff. Wow. But I was like nine at this phase, and I mean, we're talking third grade, third grade ish time frame or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, man, pretty crazy, like kind of childhood in that sense.